Good morning. It's Pastor Patricia. It's Sunday, November 1st, 2020, All Saints Day. And we got an extra hour sleep last night. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to talk just a little bit about what's happening today at Holy Cross and then pray with you. <clears throat> We're celebrating, commemorating All Saints Day today at Holy Cross, trying something a little different. Um, grief is an important thing to notice, and yet I don't think we want to. We, we kind of push it away. I think Halloween is, is a result of pushing away grief over those who have died because instead of All Saints Day where we honor those who have died, we have Halloween is so famously important in our country and in other countries where we kind of um, whistle in the dark and make a little fun of the dead and act like it doesn't bother us. And I think that's because it really does bother us. We really miss all those who have died. I know I do. I I think especially this year. At this moment in, in history, I, I looked it up, 230,000 Americans have died of the coronavirus. Wow, pretty bad, pretty scary. Lots of grief. One of my pastor friends calculated it and she said if we all started praying the list of names that have died, it would take four and a half days to read them all in succession. That's a lot of names. What grief are you carrying today? Have loved ones that you care about that are important to you have they died do you need to touch that grief today or are you grieving the way things were because they'll never be the same again S stuff will come back to to normal but not everything so grief is important to touch and so i i invite you to do that in whatever way works for you and so at Holy Cross, we've got a couple ways to do that. Of course, we always have our five worship elements posted on the website and on YouTube and on our Facebook page. Those five elements are music, which is almost always your favorite, um, readings, prayers, a children's sermon, and a sermon. So you can get those every single week, no matter what. But this week, we're going to have a devotional service, an hour and a half from 12 noon to 1.30 at Holy Cross in the sanctuary where we haven't been. We've got it all cleaned out for you and sanitized, but we'll only allow 10 of you in at a time to pray silently. And I won't be saying anything either. I'll be there and I'll be praying, but I won't be speaking. And we'll have... Tim Bibbelheimer on the organ and Sheila Clausen on the piano playing for that hour and a half to allow you to enter into a meditative space while you read the prayers I've prepared or your own. You'll also have the opportunity to put a memento of the loved ones in your life on our ofrenda, our table, our altar for Day of the Dead and to light a candle uh, in the narthex for those who have died. I invite you. Ten at a time you'll come in and the usher will will um, keep that going. I think it's it's worth a try because I know I need to grieve and you might need to grieve too. Okay? Can I pray with you now? Precious Lord, thank you for loving us. It is what makes all the difference. Help us to touch our grief to know that it is real, to know that it's not something to be afraid of, but rather something to enter and to uh, lift up the names of those people we're missing at this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, that's your morning uh, start. I'll see you at church between 12 and 1.30 at Holy Cross in Salem, Oregon. Bye-bye.